¿Qué representa para ti estar en ambulante? Well, for me, it's an opportunity to 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 access an, an audience which perhaps wouldn't normally be exposed to my work, um, and it's also an opportunity to, to to see my films within the context of other contemporary and, and historical works, um, which is interesting. Okay. Bueno, es una oportunidad para que otro tipo de audiencia pueda ver su trabajo y también es una oportunidad para que el mundo vea, bueno, las personas que están aquí en Ambulante puedan verlo dentro de otro contexto. Y eh, bueno, ¿cómo, eh, ¿cómo clasificarías tu trabajo con respecto al resto de documentales de Ambulante? That's, that's a tough question, because actually I haven't seen all of, all of the other works yet. Um, but um, I would say that formally, you know, I think we're probably all grappling with, with similar um, issues and, and problems with, with, with the form of documentary. Um, and we're also in, in search of, of an essence within film that maybe um, we couldn't obtain by just making a straight sort of fiction film. Una pregunta muy difícil porque ya no ha visto el trabajo de los demás participantes, los demás documentales, pero que eh, a grandes rasgos, pues todos quieren quieren tener la misma esencia, todos buscan el mismo sentido. In in the world, I I think it's um, I think the, 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 it's such a, a slippery um, form. It's very hard to, to, to say what, what is a documentary, what, what makes a documentary different from, say, a, a piece of realist drama, you know. Um, uh, and I think uh, these, these elements that make non-fiction films different or set them apart um, are what I find exciting uh, to watch uh, and to experience as, as, as a viewer. And, uh, and then also to, to deal with as a filmmaker. Um... Principio ya dijo que es muy difícil hacer la comparación de los trabajos de non-fiction, sin ciencia ficción, mm -hmm. y, y, pero que ella como, como espectador también disfruta ver ese tipo de trabajo que es completamente, bueno, es diferente a lo que ella hace. Eh, the function, the function about the documentary uh, films in work. Yes, I, I think that's a, an excellent question and um, it, it's a very strange time now as, as people are becoming more, um, their, their interaction with the documentary techniques is, is, is very um, common now through, through television and this kind of reality shows. And, and such, um, it could easily, the, the, the pure doc, what makes documentary special and exciting to experience could, could be lost because of this kind of um, ubiquitous nature, you know, where documentaries, where this, this form is everywhere now. Um, for me, it's very important to, to keep to continue looking at documentaries in cinematic terms. So, not necessarily as, 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 as a, a form of, of TV or, or sort of um, uh, reportage, but more in terms of, of comparing it to, to narratives um, and to seeing that documentary techniques can, can, can provide viewers with drama and impact and um, create powerful narratives about our lives. Do you think the uh, documentary uh, genre uh, is uh, moving today uh, to the people to think about that uh, things? Um, I think within the world of documentary, I think there there are um, aspects which which are very powerful. Um, uh, I should, well, should say films being made which are very powerful to direct um, uh, ways in which, which 
uh, people can can be exposed to new ideas or to information about um, about things, events, and, and and things that are happening in the world. Um, but for me, what what interests me is 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 not necessarily the newsworthy stories, but the kind of stories that that focus on the reality of, of every day and um, how our common experiences throughout the world um, uh, can 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 move us to relate to people um, in ways which we might find surprising. It's very impactful the way in este tipo de, de cine es, es explosivo. Do you say explo explosive? Exp explosive. Uh, what? I took no. yes. no. yeah. so, But I, use it. It's never explosive mind. is great. I like. It's exciting. I like. Es fuerte la manera en que impacta y pues son historias que tratan sobre el día a día de las personas, la vida cotidiana de las personas. Y sí. Entonces dice que las películas Puede que no tenga mucha información, pero están más en contacto con el espectador porque es, es muy parecida a la forma de vivir, las, lo que la gente en la vida real está haciendo. Es muy parecida con las películas que ella hace, los documentales. ¿Es posible vivir de hacer cine documental? It is possible to live uh, making documental film. <laughs> How, 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 what kind of life do you want? I <laughs> Any kind of, of life? <laughs> I would argue it's the best life. Yes, because, uh, because what you are making and, and what you are, are, are dealing with um, and the tradition that you're working in um, it, are, are all thrilling to, 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 be, to be a part of. Yeah. So for me, it's. I think if I didn't love what I do and didn't feel that it was somehow important for me to make these works um, for myself and hopefully for other people, I think that that's what you know. That's the best life, isn't it? Bueno, pues ella argumenta que es la mejor manera de vivir, ya que te hace ser parte, eh, ya que haciendo lo que ella hace con el amor, con la pasión, con la entrega con la que lo hace, es muy importante porque puede transmitir ese sentimiento a las personas que lo están viendo. Bueno, esa, la pregunta es eh, en tiempos de crisis y comparado con el cine comercial. In time of crisis and compared to this commercial film. Mm. Um, oh, it's in times of wait, in times of, cri in of terms crisis, of crisis like, economic like, crisis. Ah, um, well, I think even more now than than ever. I mean, to to make a living is another thing. You know, you you have to survive by doing um, different things. You know, teaching, trying to do commercial work also, and and I don't I don't think that you have to necessarily. Uh, only make documentaries. I think it's interesting for artists or uh, non-fiction filmmakers to try to make uh, commercial films. Also, I think this was this is important. I mean, it's to have a, a, a healthy um, conversation in this world. You you have to cross over and try new things. Uh, but for yeah, for me, for now, I think. Uh, I can survive this way, and if I can't, then maybe someday I have to try something else. And for último, ¿en qué estás trabajando ahora? For the last, mm. what are you doing now? What mm. are you? In what are you working? Yes, um, I'm. Uh, let's see. I just uh, I just made a music video. Uh, which is the first time I've tried this, which is a, not commercial, but it's not fine art, I suppose. Uh, and uh, I'm working on a new film in 35 millimeter. I bought a, a Russian camera. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias.